Bring her on. Your arm. I'll take it and sew it back on at the laboratory. Hurry, Nadja. T-minus 30 minutes and counting. We have jumped the count on test number one to T-minus 30 minutes. <laughs> This, there is no reason. There just is no reason. What about it, Dr. Von Hoften? When there is a thing happens, there is always a reason somewhere. Well, now we must find it. Well, Doctor, maybe it was something from, well, from the outside. I'm sure it was nothing from this end. Are you sure of that? Only the young are so very sure. I suppose it may have been sabotage. But with our security... Our I... young friend here was thinking of something else, something he mentioned before. 
flying saucers or something like that? Well, sir, I suppose that uh, is a possibility. I think you are taking them a little too seriously, Tom. Quiet, Dr. Meiser. Let the boy make a fool of himself. You think because he is so young, he should be spared my tongue. What better time to learn? He is still a student. Blockhouse. General Hollister here. Corporal Wilson, sir, gate 17. The dogs are upset, sir, and I can't see any reason for it. No one prowling around? No, sir, no sign of anything. Put a leash on the dogs and take a look. Does that mean there was something outside that could have caused the failure? More likely the dog smelled a rabbit. Tomorrow we make another shot. I suggest we run the tapes and see what they have to tell us. Rest, Nadja. You know you are to speak only Earth English on this assignment. Do you not, Haran? Your arm. It has been torn off again. I'll tell you all about it when we get back to the ship. have a great future in this work, maybe. So do not try to make better progress by, how do you say, making goo eyes at my niece. That huh? isn't fair. He was only asking me we'd go with him for coffee when we were through here. After all, this isn't Germany. I didn't really mean that. But this is America. I was born here and I... Dr. Von Hoften, it's different here. The kids, well, they have more freedom. I do not care what they do here. While she is here, she will do as I say. He also is here on my request. I selected him from over 200 applicants because his school record showed that he is virtually a mathematical genius. I need youngsters like this, but I will not tolerate for one minute mixing business and pleasure while I am in charge of this project. Dr. Von Hoffen is right, Sally. You are his responsibility. He didn't ask me to marry him, just coffee. I know. Come in. Intelligence told me to bring this straight over to you, sir. What the hell is it? The dogs pulled this off a man they were chasing. It's impossible for a dog to pull a man's arm off this way. It just can't be done. Did you see the man? Yes, sir. I got several shots at him. I, uh, I guess I missed. But you don't think you missed? No, sir. I don't think I did miss. Leave this with me. I'll see that it gets back to intelligence. <laughs> I'm not a surgeon, but I would swear that this arm was shorn off.
You've never really felt comfortable in the body of the Earthlings. From the very first, I was against you for a partner. Oh, you're a good enough scientist. And you are for the plan. But no violence. Oh, I know what's bothering you. You lost an arm. Now that arm must be replaced. And that means finding a living arm. Somewhere. It's all set. Better get back in your body. I'm beginning to get through. Ascension between us will not help our work. Any time you wish to return to our planet, you have my permission. The leader decides who will return to our planet and when. Turn it off for now. I'll see if our beam can be narrowed. Okay, who's got the sodium chloride? You sound like my uncle. Plain everyday table salt, but you have to call it sodium. Sodium chloride. Und wein not schnucky. Dot is it's chemical name. Nepa he buns an aspirin. He always asks for a seed of salt like acid. <laughs> my father's the same way. Drives me nuts when he wants anything. I should be thanking your uncle instead of making fun of him. If he hadn't made such a fuss this afternoon... All we would have done is gone for coffee together. I like this better. Here we are. I told you she looks cute without her glasses. <laughs> she sure does. I picked this up in town like you asked. I also dug this up. Now, there's no question about what station we listen to. Uh, 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 one thing. <laughs> okay. You gotta promise not to take it apart, see what makes it tick. Okay, I <laughs> promise. <laughs> Keep turning it on and off to clear soon. Did you reset the beam? And the line core. There it is again. There what is? Static, like a transmitter being turned off and on. Sounds all right now. Well, that's not the point, Sally. There shouldn't be any transmitters working on this frequency. It's against the law. Well, how do you know it is a transmitter? Might be a storm. Well, when I checked the weather for the professor this morning, no sunspots, no storm. I'm sure that's a transmitter. Uh, 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 uh. Remember, you promised. And besides, with all that noise going on in the back, we can't hear our radio. Change your station, Bob. See if you get interference. Hmm, that was real nice. We have KYR, they have KXTX, and we both get static. What does that mean? means I ought to get in touch with the authorities. What could you tell them? You don't know where it's coming from. I can find out easy enough. Use this as a direction finder. And walk in the direction the static gets the loudest. And when it gets loud enough, you find the transmitter. Leave it to old Tom to figure a way to get the pretty girls alone. You better stay here, Sally. I don't know what I might find. The little green men, maybe? I think I will come. And I have to build everything here myself. Makes me long to be back home in a real laboratory. But 
this should do. This is Earth Expedition number two. Earth Expedition number two. Are we coming in clear? Reception bad, but understandable. Are we clear? Clear enough to communicate. What do you have to report? Another launching stopped. They still have no idea why their missiles are failing. Excellent. The Council has voted both of you full memberships for this work. How is the work on the invasion fleet progressing? Slow. However, if you can keep Earth from discovering space flight for a few more months. Does it hurt much? Not really. It's these shoes. I think we'd better go back. Don't be silly. It doesn't hurt that much. It seems to be coming from over that hill. Come on. You can lean on me. We will see to it, leader. We have to make another capture anyhow. To repair Horon's arm. You must be more careful with the electroconvulsive shock and the freezing. The last ones you sent were dead when they arrived. It makes study extremely difficult. I will see to it. That means the transmitter's been turned off? Yeah, just when we're getting close. What can we do now? Well, I think we'd better tell your uncle about it. This may have something to do with the missiles. Look, I... Dr. Von Hoffen doesn't have to know that you are with me. Besides, I think the general would be a better bet. Do you think they'll believe you? You know how they acted today. They'll believe me. This can be checked. This place gives me the creeps. We wait till after the launching to find more Earthlings. I can get by with one arm till then. Don't you owe it to the Consul to use all your facilities for your work? Every missile from Cape Canaveral has either failed or was let go to avoid undue suspicion. Could you have done any better? Well, I was just... I worried. have to get this power pack fixed up right. Now, don't bother me again. Is that clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. seconds. Have you told them yet? I haven't had a chance. Thank you. 
General. I told General Hollister what you found last night. You know what you were telling me about? General, there's an illegal transmitter working somewhere in the hills. It might have a bearing on those missiles. I didn't do badly for a one-armed man, did I? Do we start looking for some specimens to send back now? No, I think not. Night seems like a better time. For now, I think we need some rest. I mean, if it was something really important, wouldn't the general have checked it out? You didn't even ask the right questions. Just because Tom isn't 40 years old. <sighs> well, it can't be sunspots, or I, I couldn't have traced it as far as I did. I don't know about you guys, but, but I'm getting cold. What now, genius? You still have that radio? Yeah. I'm going back where I stopped last night. What will it prove? Well, if that transmitter starts up again, I should be able to pinpoint the place of origin. And then the general will have to listen to me. I'm climbing in the car before I freeze to death. In case anyone cares. Bob will warm you up. I'm going with Tom. What about your feet? Tonight I came prepared. You little monkey, how did you know I was planning? Just called a woman's intuition. Time will wipe them out with an adding machine. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard a noise, like a twig break or something. Well, there have been stories about lovers laying bandits and stuff like that. I'll just discourage them. I'll put up the top. Oh, Bob, I'm scared. Let's leave now. Leave Tom and Sally. All will be all right. I'll protect you. Eyes open. Keep that needle blaster handy. Well, that's about it for tonight. We better call it quits. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow? Sure, you know the unscheduled. I. There's a launching tomorrow, and my uncle didn't tell me. Well, after all, Sally, he is the boss. Look, if we did find that transmitter and it was affecting our missiles. Then he might take us both back in his good graces. Right. Then we'll hunt for it all night if we have to. <sighs> no more for tonight, I'm afraid. But there'll be other nights. Is it 
Tom. I thought I heard something. It's gone now. Oh, look at the time. We better keep moving. That kills the idea of them just wandering off. Hear that? Listen. If we could locate this, we'd find Bob and Shirley. Tom, what can we do? Well, we know about where it is. That's half the battle. I don't know. I think we ought to call the sheriff or the police or somebody. Sally, I know how you feel, but let's look at the facts. For one thing, the keys aren't in the car. That means Bob has them? Or his captors. I could hotwire the ignition, but Bob's got a lock on the steering column. We could walk back to town. Sure, but that would take too long. No telling what would happen to Shirley and Bob in that time. What about Uncle Heinrich? I'm afraid he's going to find out all about it, no matter what we do. Sally, I know you're afraid, but we don't have any other choice. And we will send the female in 26 hours and the male specimen later. Correct. Now, how long before the next missile test? Almost a month, Earth time. That is well. Unless you have more to report, we'll cease communication for now. I would like a complete schedule of the procedure for the preparation of the specimen. I wouldn't want anything to happen to thee. A complete schedule? Very well. The electric shock is easy. It is the freezing that is difficult. Always check the temperatures of the fluids in the bodies before you start the freezing. Oh, what a time for it to quit. It must be within 50 feet of here. Can we sort of beat the brush until we find it? I guess that's about the only thing we can do. You work over there, and I'll start from this side. Hurry with that metallic cloth. She's unconscious now, but earthlings are strange. Everything is ready. I'm no sign of... Sally, we better go for help. I'll be all right now. We 
to look for another half hour? All right, Tom. Shall we proceed? Go ahead. Did you hear that? Hear what? Listen. There's a pool of water in there. I wonder if it has anything to do with the... Just a minute, Sally. How is he? His breathing is very shallow. You were right about his lack of life force. He's dead. He would never have lived through transmission. Now you know why I didn't want to use his whole body. He had a nice chin. Except for that tiny scar. Perhaps the more human I look, the more freely I could move around. His chin to replace yours. It's a man-made cave. You better stay here, Sally. No, thanks. Something. Still don't know what it is, though. I'm scared, Tom. And you couldn't find anything. But this. I wonder where it leads. Again. Turn on the status beam. Take the needle blaster and see what we got this time. Barack wanted us to send some more small earth animals. Be good for us if we can send him some right away. And if your new chin needs a little trimming, I'll fix it when I get back. Complete report when we return. Excellent. I'm proud of both of you. We will inform you later when you are to transmit the new ones. So that's what's going on. Maybe I'm dreaming all this. Dreaming? Oh, yes. 
Sometimes when you humans are asleep, you see things that are not real. Dreams. Hmm. I can assure you that Haran and I, Naja, are real. You are from outer space, aren't you? But you look just like... You're breathing our oxygen mixture, and the odds against that are fantastic. Are you a scientist? Just a student. But you understand the theory of elemental mixtures and the mathematical probability of oxygen-breathing species. You are a unusual student, of course. I don't think so. There are plenty of guys my age who are a lot smarter. This is quite some setup you have. Is that really an intergalactic television rig? Intergalactic? Hardly. It's all we can do to raise our planet. And you are in our solar system. Enough talk. Let's prepare for the transmission process. Don't be ridiculous. He can be a good source of information. I'd like some information, too. You will learn more there. You mean... this is a spaceship and you'll be taking off? No. You will be transmitted. I'm not familiar with all of your science, so I may not be able to explain it too well. You see that tank? After precise treatment of your cellular structure with electric convulsions and freezing temperatures, you will be immersed in that solution. What is the solution in the tank? An element that would roughly correspond to your uh, hydrogen. Same atomic weight? Much higher. What happened to my friends, a girl and a boy about my size? Don't worry about your friends. Set up the harness and let's get this over with. Oh. What is that gizmo you used on those restraints? Won't do you any good to know, but it's called drosinon. A rare element in our planet. We use it much the same as you use gold and silver. I hear there's a trace or two of it on this planet. Drosinon. What kind of properties does it have? You really are interested? Well, I'm afraid I can't recall everything about it. In large concentration, it can cause a severe burn. And, oh, yes, it uh, glows in the dark. What are you going to do to her? Introduce a current of electricity through her cellular structure. Your scientists do much the same thing. They call it electroconvulsive shock therapy. Perhaps you've heard of it. Already, Haran. It won't hurt her, really. I knew we should have proceeded instead of talking. How did he escape from that restraint? Hasn't been forced. I don't understand. And now he knows all about us. He went for help. He wouldn't leave here without her except for that reason. And the help? What do we do about them? I think we can handle that.
operator. Give me the police department. It's a... I'll write the sheriff's office, but hurry, it's an emergency. Sheriff's office. Oh, you better talk to the chief deputy. Deputy Chief T.L. Hogue here. What? Yes, I know where you are. You call uh, her uncle, this doctor, whatever his name is, and don't leave. I'll be right there. Yes, don't worry. Yes, I know how to get there. Now, don't leave. If anybody wants me, I'm out at Elmer Wesson's Realty. Moss will be with me. Hello. Operator, hello. Hold it right there, young fella. Listen, Mr. Yes, Lannister. take it easy while I call the sheriff. But I just called... Better keep those hands up unless you're tired of living. That's better. But I just called the sheriff. Well, now, ain't you the brassy one? <laughs> yeah, well, we just, we'll just find out about that. Move that telephone over here. Easy now. Easy. That's right. Howdy, Becky. Yeah, uh-huh. Just fine, thanks, Becky. Just fine. M Mister, it's a matter of life and death. Becky, can you get me the sheriff's office? What? Is that right? You did, huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Fine, Becky. And the same to you. Becky, she's the operator. She says you did phone the sheriff's office. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Mr. Uh... Weston, Elmer Weston, I own this place. Oh, young fella, what's this all about, eh? Look, Mr. Uh, Wesson, just let me use your telephone for a minute, and I'll be glad to give you the whole story. Oh, just tell me all about it right now. Those phone bills mount up, you know. Uh, my name is Tom Wright. I work at Cape Canaveral. A group of friends and myself were having a picnic the other evening. She's awake now. Take her to the other cave we made, the one with no exit. Shall I come back here, then? No. I'll join you there later, after I finish making plans for the return of her friend. Go now. Cave, you say? I've been all through those hills. Never saw any cave. Now, check him, fella. Oh. Howdy, deputy. This young fella here claims you'll vouch for him. That all depends. You can tell us your story on the way. Now, wait for me, fellas. I want to change my clothes and come right with you. Nadja, I... Uh... We'll discuss it another time. You put her clothes in the proper place. I'll prepare for her friend. I still think I did the right thing, sending both the boy and the girl to our planet. I saw the window. Energy masses from other planets. Sewing on arms, that Sir kind Chief, of... Chief, the part about the arm could be right. The Cape Canaveral people turned one over to us. I don't trust him. Why? Well, 
His whole story, sir, depends on a cave, don't it? I guess so. There ain't a cave in any one of them hills, and that's a fact. Let's go see. Where's the young fella, Tom? Nothing feels broken. Doggone this thing I ever did see. Nothing but a little old green ball, like they made mincemeat out, all of us. What do you suppose it was? Beats me, but we need help to handle it, that's for sure. Moss, you stay on guard. I'll take the old man back and dig up a posse. Now, hold on there a minute. I was in this thing at the start, and I am to be in at the end. Besides, uh, this fella here, he ought to be took to a doctor and looked at. Oh, I'm all right. He has a point. All right. Old man, I'll leave you on guard, down to the cars. Keep your eyes open and don't let anyone in or out till I get back. Understand? Yes, sir. Let's go. No bird yet of Sally. No. No word of Tom either. You think they are together then? I don't know what I think. You don't seem very worried about being recaptured. When Tom doesn't show up for the test this morning, my uncle will... Oh? A missile test? Oh. I see. There is. There isn't any schedule for almost a month. When my uncle wants to, he can do... Yes, go on. You were saying about your uncle? Don't say any more, Sally. How about a trade? Our freedom for our knowledge. No, Tom, please, they won't let us go. opte. What is that language you speak? Just my way of telling her that I love her. Well, we may make a deal, but... First, tell me, how did you escape from the restraint? Easy. But how? Your element drosinone is what we call radium. We have so much of it on Earth that we use it on our watch dials to tell time in the dark. Find out more about the missile to be tested this morning. Why? We have no more power. It'll take at least a week to recharge the pack. If I tell you how you could destroy that missile, would you let us go? Well... Yes. If you can help us, we'll let you go. The missile being tested uses no radium. If you have weapons that are blocked by this element, they should work on this projectile. I could rewire the disruptor ray and give us some range. 
Are you positive it contains no radium? Positive. Good. It'll work then. When will you set us free? When Haran returns and we know you are telling the truth. I'd better get busy then. That ought to give us a little more time. But what then? Don't worry. I called the sheriff's department in on the deal. That's why I had to take a chance and leave you here. I knew you wouldn't have left me without a good reason. I think with a little help, we can lick these freaks. Oh, Tom, I hope so. Freddie, I'm going to have to hang up now. I hear the boss. He's coming. Can you call a General Hollister at Cape Canaveral? He says it's important. See if you can get him. Yes, sir. General Hollister, please. Maybe I should have left Moss. Yeah, you can't depend on an old man. something. Hey, I found out where the cave is at. Did Just you... like the young fellow said it was, too. Can you show us where it is? <laughs> well, I, I see this fellow sneaking along, see? Acting very suspicious. Yeah, I yeah, 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 we know that. all that. But right now, where are the kids? Well, I didn't see them any place, but I know they must be in that cave. Well, now that I know there is a cave, well, let's get him. Shouldn't we have heard something by now, Tom? If they hadn't tied my hands, we'd be out of here by now. While you were dozing, two, maybe three sirens. Close. Lover's Lane, I guess. Tom, did you really hear them? Shh, no need to let them in on it. If we ever get out of here. Yeah, me too. Do you suppose your uncle would mind? Uh, us getting married, I mean? Is that a proposal? I guess it is. Well, yes or no? 
You may be bright at math, but you certainly don't know much about women. Major General Hollister of the United States Army. You are here by order to surrender. Well, what do we do now? Capture the group, hold them here, transmit ourselves back, and meet with the Council. Do you mean we must not kill our little Earth friends? Is that it? Perhaps the leader can start the invasion sooner than planned. Then they'll all be killed. Why not now? Their science can be of use to us. Perhaps the tool by which they die. All right. What's first? We'll use the big paralysis ray. Help me with it. Now, this is Major General Hollister of the United States Army. You are hereby ordered to surrender. Seems to me we're wasting time. Let's go in and get him. Won't do you any good to try another escape while we're back on our planet. I've locked the Satsis beam on in the car, though. As for the ship, I don't think there's anything here that you can hurt. All right, Nadja. Let's get into the tank. See if you can reach my keychain. I know it may hurt, but it's our only chance. That's it. Bob's idea of a joke, it's a miniature slide rule. Said to be perfect for me, because you could see it in the dark. It's made of radium, too? No, but there's some on the face. It may work. Try it on the... That's it. That's it. Try yours. Oh, Tom. No, Sally. Get my hands. Get my hands. <laughs> Come on, doctor. Some of them are still unconscious. I guess the ray has more effect on some than on others. They'll be all right, though. Do you have any litmus paper, Doctor? All I have is pink. I was doing some work with colloids. Oh, that'll do fine. Thank you. Uh, we would do better if we would try to get out of here, wherever it is that we are. The people from the other planet turned on the beam in the corridor. It's impossible to get through. We know we were caught in one. Well, what do we do, then? Well, this liquid in the tank is similar to our hydrogen. Ah, that is the reason for the litmus paper. If the liquid in the tank is a hydrogen base, the paper will turn blue. That's the idea. Can you tell how strong or active such a liquid might be from inspection of this paper after immersion? Yeah, yeah. One thing is sure. That is most definitely not hydrogen. Of course not, but it, it should work the same way. Yeah. But it would be greatly accelerated. How much? At least two to hundred power. If you add sodium chloride to a hydrogen base... Uh, you release heat as a side product in the amount of 13,700 calories per mole. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Now, this stuff should heat to a hundredth power of that. It should do that, but uh, what good does it do to make an oven for ourselves? What we need is an explosion. Yeah. No, no, I, was, I was coming to that. Now, if I remember correctly, polyethylene is an unstable compound. 
Uh, represented by linking CH2 in polymer linkage. Now add heat. Extreme heat to that formula, and you have... An explosion! Yes, no, that's what we want. Very dangerous. Now, just a minute. Now, hold on. Now, the sodium chloride is easy. Nice common salt, and I've got some that Bob gave me. Uh, the polyethylene is easy, too. All of you have wallets. Well, the inserts oh. are made of it. Okay, come and on, Some boy. of you have plastic belts. Yeah, okay, come on, boys. Take it. Let's see what we can find. Uh, yeah. All the plastic you can yeah, find. Take them, dear. Yeah. Here, miss, I got a bill. Here, give it to Sally. Yeah. It's mine. Okay. Sally, give it to me. Yeah. Gee, you take the people out of here. I'll take care of the tank. What? back to civilization. We sure owe you a debt. Without your help, those monsters might still be on Earth. I don't think we have to worry about them anymore. 